All right, Sean, Kim. The courtroom was filled with families of the victims who for the first time came face to face with the shooter and some are responding tonight to a highly emotional day in court. Rod Maloney is live at the Oakland County Courthouse with that part of the story for us, Rod. Right, Kimberly, you know, remember that many of these people had never seen Ethan Crumbly before, so that was highly emotional in and of itself. But then all of that evidence that Sean just laid out about the father and the gun and how uh, Ethan was able to get a hold of it, that was even more impactful, uh, particularly to Megan Gregory, whose son Keegan survived this shooting. Is it true that you asked him to buy the firearm? Yes. Is it true that you gave him your own money to buy the firearm? Yes. And the fact that he paid for the gun himself, that blew my mind. Megan Gregory's son Keegan did not want to be in the courtroom today. He watched via Zoom. Megan came to see for herself the young man who shot and killed Justin Schilling as her son Keegan watched, leaving him forever changed. Seeing him and then going back thinking, wow, that was who held my son and Justin in the bathroom for so many minutes staring at them. I just... It put chills down my spine. For her and many other Oxford parents, today's guilty plea spares them a trial. I think that lifted a thousand pounds off his chest so he does not have to stand there and testify and relive it again. So for him, that was a big awakening and almost giving him a permission to start the real healing process. Yes. Is it true that Crumbly changed his plea from an insanity defense to guilty, and defense attorney Paulette Lofton said he did express remorse. Well, he's taking accountability for his actions. But attorney Wolfgang Mueller, representing murder victim Madison Baldwin's family, said... And if he's going to plead guilty, and I would have expected him to show some remorse in his face, and there was none. There's no soul there. Now, one of the things that the families we spoke with talked about today is their frustration with the Oxford School District. Uh, new evidence brought out in court today certainly is going to have impact on the civil suits that are being brought against the school district. We did reach out to the district and have not heard back anything, but certainly there's going to be a lot to watch there in the days to come. Reporting live in Pontiac, Rod Maloney, Local What 4. an emotional day. Rod, we appreciate it, and we want to let you know our coverage of this guilty plea continues on Local 4 News at 6 o'clock. Sean Lay has a look at what has to happen before the shooter is sentenced, including why a life sentence is not guaranteed here. Also, Rod Maloney is talking to a parent of a survivor who was in court today, and she's detailing a chilling moment during the hearing. That's ahead on the News at 6.